Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial. My name is Jack. I'm one of the tutors of Blue Sky Graphics. We are based in Photoshop today. And, that's cool. and of course, it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you here today. The reason why we're here today, guys, is to discuss how would we apply knockout text effect within Photoshop. Very, very easy. But as you can see, very, very powerfully, powerful, aesthetically speaking. Um, and it's used across many forms of graphic design. It's quite easy. So I just want to quickly show you today how we can do this knockout um, text effect. Right. So what I have is I have the uh, original image I open up on another tab here. And what I'm going to do is use my type tool. Shortcut is the letter T. And I'm going to click and I'm going to start to type. So let's say, for instance, I'm now going to type London. I'm now going to press Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows to Bring up the transform options and press option um, on Mac or Alt on Windows to resize from the middle. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to position this uh, text centrally, vertically and horizontally on this um, document here. So what I'm now going to do is use the shortcut Command A on Mac or Control A on Windows to select the whole page. I'm now going to make sure that my type layer is highlighted, make sure that I'm on the move tool, and I'm just going to use my alignment tool at the top there and align it horizontally and vertically. And what I'm going to do now is deselect by pressing Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do now is create our uh, rectangle. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool, and I'm going to create a rectangle like so. I'll sort the alignment out in a sec. Uh, let's remove the stroke here. I don't want a stroke, but what I'd love to have is a white fill. Perfect. And same again, I'm going to use Command A on um, Mac or Control A on Windows to select the whole document like so. I have the rectangle layer highlighted. If I was to go to the Move tool here, I'm also going to align that horizontally and vertically. And also I'm going to deselect by pressing Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. So, as you can see now, we have the background layer, i.e. the image layer, the type layer, and the shape layer, which is a rectangle. What I'm going to do now is arrange these layers better. Let's just quickly put a different color within that text. We'll see what we're doing there. There we go. Perfect. So, I have the typography layer above the shape layer. Okay. Now, what I need to do is bring up my layer style of our typography layer, you can either go to effects or what I simply like to do is just double click the type layer. Perfect. And what I would need to do now is remove the fill opacity, take it all the way down to zero, and we have a knockout. And I'm gonna change that now to shallow. And if I press okay, there you have it the knockout text effect within Photoshop. Very, very simple, but as you can see, very, very powerful. Okay, guys, if you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, our, our, our courses, the school, our tutors, please visit our website at bluesbygraphics.co.uk. Also take the time in visiting our uh, Instagram at bluesbygraphicsuk to have a look at some of our work by our amazing students. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. And I'll see you next time.